it was almost like, okay, you are the clear favorite. Mm -hmm. Here's what you need to, like, here are the splits you need to hit to stay on world record pace. And here's right. when you should pull the plug if that doesn't feel good. Right? Like, I don't know if it was like, I'm going to try to go for it as long, like, I'm going to try to stay on that pace as long as I can. And then if I can't, I'll yeah. pull the plug. Did she pull the plug when her pacer was like, I'm out? This is. Br the this pacer is, was like, I don't want any more. Like, pacer I want lost no. Like 10 miles. I mean, you, can you. you like, that's sign up so hard. That. How. How. Okay. 211 pace. That is so. Yeah. There are so few people who could run that. There are even yeah. less people who can confidently say, yes. Yeah. I can lead you through this that pace at this time. Like there are so few. So I'm I'm trying not I'm trying to give like a little grace to the pacer here because that was insane well, and like the ability to even do that like is yeah. so there's so few people who can even do that. I'm just wondering like uh, was there an A and a B plan, right? It didn't seem like I don't it. know. It was like, well, I'm gonna Four. blast and I'm gonna win it anyways. Because she was not worried about anyone coming back on her, no matter what. If she yeah. was, she wouldn't have continued to blast for that long. Forcing your pacer to quit at 10 miles is a really big flex, in my opinion. <laughs> Just basically saying, you're here to help me, and you're going to quit because I'm going to make this too hard. I don't think, because she was hurting towards the end. There was no. definitely moments when she looked vulnerable. Now, the winning margin ended up being uh, solid over... Emma Bates, who we'll talk about in a second, a minute, 49 seconds. But if you look at the halfway, I mean, she was just, she was just crushing it. The closest person to her was Vivian Kiplagat, who was a late ad, but then Sarah Hall was four minutes back. You know, Emma Bates was almost five minutes back. So she took what, three minutes off her on the second half. That, that can't, I think it was, Hey, you, I feel like I'm in world record shape, but there's a 214 is already an outlier. And then you're going to go out. And I know Chicago, the winds, and you were catching it at the back, and it was hot and all that other stuff. But I'm sorry, 211 pace? 211 pace? I, I know. I, it was like when they announced it yesterday, and when Paul said it, I was like, I'm sorry, what did he just say? <laughs> like, no, that, that cannot be. Uh, you know what? I had a similar reaction today. Like you said, when they said CJ is out in 202 pace, I was like, that can't yeah, be yeah. right. They definitely didn't yeah, just yeah. say 202. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty wild. I mean, the the barriers that have been like smashed from the like women's times perspective yeah. i mean across the board right uh in marathoning and half marathoning our perceptions are like okay like our perceptions of of splits are so skewed now from a, from yeah. some of these races that we almost like sometimes we forget that there are, there are races out there like a chicago that are tactical <laughs> and it's like yeah We've gotten, it's like we were in this lane for the last two and a half years of like, okay, we're, you know, we're doing all these, we're doing all these like, you know, sub two races and we're like building up all these races to just run crazy yeah. fast and break these records. And we're doing these product launches and these like, you know, singular races yeah. out in the backwoods of Oregon that like we've started to yeah. lose sight of like what typical marathoning is. And it's almost mm -hmm. like she, she was on that. She was along for that ride yesterday too. Uh, it did yeah. come by, back to bite her a little bit, but I mean, <laughs> to crater that hard and use you, you, use your word crater to crater that hard and still win by that much is insane. Is insane yeah. to be like in the hurt locker for that long and still win for that by that much is incredible. Yeah, and li listen for her. I mean, the difference between winning in two twenty two and winning in two twenty is probably not that huge it's worth the risk it's worth it to go for it but when we were doing the london marathon live show Cathal Dennehy was talking about how you know kip everybody's taking kip choge's no human is limited to it's very 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 extreme <laughs> and <laughs> we're now seeing the results because right this has been the theme this has been the theme all fall i mean look at how fast they went out in in berlin and then no one ends up breaking 205 on the men's side london they were more cautious but there's just people just taking these massive, massive swings. And I think we, we would ordinarily laugh when we hear they're going out at 211 pace. And I bet you did, Alex. I bet you laughed. But I bet there was a tiny part of your brain where you're like, really? Maybe? Possibly? Like, this is the marathon. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> because of what's happening. Yeah. 
the, the last few years have like again torn down the walls of like our our initial percent like to the point of like they'll come through 5ks and 10ks and i'm like i don't know it's like cross country now right where you like yeah. hear splits and you're like ah oh, is that good i don't know anymore <laughs> like, yeah like, yeah, it doesn't, yeah it doesn't matter um yeah, yeah it's broken insane. our brains yeah our brains uh, are officially absolutely broken ins- when it comes to marathon splits there's no way to conceptualize <laughs> they don't matter them. anymore there, yeah, there's no rules matter. Well, I, I'm, sh- I mean, I would love to hear the information that Sarah and Emma were getting, you know, in the background, mm-hmm. um, because that'd be, it'd be so hard to hear that somebody went out at two eleven pace and has gapped you by so much, but yeah. then like, I, you know, like, and who knows, like if they got insights about, you know, what the gap was to the leader as they came through you know, halfway and like 20 K or whatever, but like, you're like trying to do the math and you're like, I think she's coming back to me, but like, I almost shut down the, even like the idea of pulling her back when I heard she went out in yeah. two eleven pace, you know? And yeah. so then like Emma and like Emma and Sarah are just in this complete kind of wormhole of like, they have no perception of like where they are in the race. Right. There's a bunch of ma- like, you know, there's a bunch of males right in front of them too. They're like, what yeah. is like a tough way to run that race? 